What you can learn from Cristiano Ronaldo's tax fraud and tax evasion case. Must Cristiano Ronaldo go to prison for years, if convicted? Must he pay millions to come out of the tax fraud investigation? Today I will tell you exactly what Ronaldo did to mitigate his tax impact and how to do it better, much better. If you are an international football player or a businessman, watch this video until the end. It can be that your international tax evasion or tax avoidance solution is a ticking time bomb and you are under risk to go in prison and losing millions of money. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hi, here is Enzo Caputo with SwissBankingLawyers.com from Paroldeplatz in Zurich, Switzerland. Cristiano Rolando has taken benefits from a privilege named Beckham Law, or Law Lex Beckham. It was adopted under Conservative Prime Minister Jorge Maria Aznar and was originally intended to lure non-Spanish business leaders, so-called expats, to the Iberian Peninsula. When they move to Spain, they are subject to an income tax rate of just 24%. 0.5% instead of 50% and more. It was named after the former England football star David Beckham because foreign players also fell under the law and Beckham was the pioneer. The Beckham law has been abolished for sports stars. At the end of 2014, Ronaldo's international taxation trick consisted in selling and transferring all his expected future income based on his electoral property rights, also known as IP rights, starting from the 1st of January 2015 for a period of five years to a British Virgin Island offshore company, controlled by a third party. It was imperative to close the transaction before the new law came into force on 1st January 2015. According to the Swiss press, the CEO of the bank Mirabeau, Mr. Antonio Palma, was aware of this transaction. According to rumors in the Swiss private banking industry, the British Virgin Island offshore company had a bank account with Bank Mirabeau. This bank account has been used to execute the forward transaction with Ronaldo's intellectual property rights. Palma, the CEO of Bank Mirabeau with Spanish origin, has facilitated the account opening process. A proper, ordinary account opening process with big amounts can take some weeks or even months. According to the most famous banking blog inside Parodeplots, the fresh bank accounts for Cristiano Ronaldo were opened within just a couple of days. The direct intervention from the CEO, Mr. Antonio Palma, a true football fan, has accelerated the account opening process. The most important question in the tax fraud or the tax evasion allegations against Cristiano Ronaldo will be if such a transaction is credible and genuine, having a real economic background with real existing contracts and real existing contracting parties, or if the transaction with expected income from IP rights has been fabricated. The Spanish tax authorities are under serious risk to shoot out of the hip Cristiano Ronaldo is responding very relaxed to the invasive questions of the journalists regarding the tax fraud allegations. He is convinced that his transaction has been assembled by professionals and that everything is legal. We will see. This example shows how important it is to have the support of experienced professionals in international taxation. If the work of his professionals and bankers will not pause the verification process, he has to pay high fines and risk in prison sentence. Anyway, in Spain there is always room for negotiation with the Spanish tax authorities. Ronaldo's worst case scenario is to pay some million euros based on a future tax deal or subse with subsequent settlement with the Spanish tax authorities. Bank Mirabeau has no benefit. Bank Mirabeau's reputation is under risk. Bank Mirabeau has offices in Spain. Critical. Bank Mirabeau should pay attention to not enter in the headlines of newspapers. Reputation is everything for a private bank. It needs decades to build up an impeccable reputation and just some hours to destroy it. Bank Mirabeau will argue to have done everything right. Bank Mirabeau will argue that helping rich people and celebrities to mitigate the tax impact is not a crime. Time have changed. 
The Spaniards see it differently. The French too. The Germans anyway. Europe's governments and law enforcement authorities want to prove to their poor citizens that the rich are not above the law. There is zero tolerance for tax fraud and tax evasion. The typical Swiss mentality and understanding is based on something else. We do not interfere in personal matters. In Switzerland, taxes are considered as a pure private issue. The Cristiano Rolando case shows that the Swiss bank operating with celebrities and other exposed customers is not protected, even if Bank Mirabeau has nothing to fear in Switzerland. The Iberian authorities began to take a hard look at Bank Mirabeau. They carried out a raid in Spain even one year ago. The headlines caused further unrest. Mirabeau most probably has to pay a high price in terms of losing reputation. If you are an international football player or an international businessman and you want to be 100% sure to not end up in prison and pay millions of euros in penalties, take your mobile phone in your hands and give me a call now on the following number 0041442124404. It's never too early for a good advice, but often too late. Let's discuss your issue now, free of charge. Be rich and remain rich. I wish you a wonderful day.